What's up everyone, Ronnie Cruz here with Path of the Network Marketer 365 day video challenge where I bring you a fresh new video every day chronicling my adventures as I learn how to leverage social media and online platforms to build my network marketing business so that I can in turn teach you to do the same. Ah, 17 seconds, that was good, that was good. I added a little bit, uh, like I added the online, online platforms. <laughs> Anyways, um, in this episode, uh, well, as you can see, I'm still on the chair, still uh, sitting by the fire. But I, I uh, something popped in my head real quick uh, after I recorded yesterday's episode. I wanted to talk about podcasting. I don't think I've talked about that here yet. I love podcasting. If you guys haven't uh, seen or seen, if you haven't haven't listened to Path of the Jedi, go check it out. Um, it's only the most awesome podcast ever until until I uh, I release and launch Path of the Network Marketer, the podcast. Um, yeah, yeah, I, uh, I, I, I love podcasting. I think I'm really attracted to podcasting as one of my main ways of building an audience. Um, because, well, number one, I'm, I've, I've done it right. Like I, I'm, I'm coming up on, on September first. Well, it'll be the one year anniversary of Path of the Jedi, which is amazing. That's so, like, that feels so good to hear myself say, "Hey." <laughs> um, and and I think for a lot of reasons that I'll, I'll talk about today, podcasting has, I think, some advantages in terms of the audience that you build and the relationship that you have to that audience. Right. I, I think I think compared to the other social media, well, the other platforms, you know, like your TikToks and and your Instagrams, which are great. I mean, I love those and I, I'm, I'm continuing to work on building my audiences there. Um, I think, I think uh, because it's a longer form, the audiences aren't as transient, right? Like, like they, 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 they're more honed in. Um, they're more, they're more, I mean, it's really like there, there's, there's a certain kind of uh, loyalty. They're, they're drawn to you. They're, you, they're, your, the audience that you build on, on uh, with podcasting is an audience that you really, really attract. Whereas, whereas with, uh, and you know, I, I, I understand some of it has to do with algorithm and, and being able to be found, but um, with uh, the other social media, the other platforms like Instagram, like TikTok, it really, well, Instagram especially, relies, number one, on, on algorithm. And number two, it relies on on yeah just like being able to catch people's attention spans right whereas whereas um i i think because podcast is longer form um it allow and and youtube actually this is why i've, I've really i've really started like i've always liked youtube um but uh it's a longer form and and you know it it requires um more it requires people to really uh hone in and and because of that it's a much more targeted audience right it's a much more targeted audience because they're only gonna they're gonna stick with you for for your show however long it is five ten minutes um, you know a five ten minute video they're gonna stick with you if they like you right and and the ones that do that end up staying with you for the entire episode um, and and then you know go on to subscribe and and follow your show um, it yeah 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 it, it they're they're following you because of they're attracted to what you are bringing to the table right so again it is a more honed uh, honed in and f and and focused audience as opposed to you know again the other the other uh, platforms are more transient they're more of like you know um uh well it i, I think it's more of a, a, an audience the audience on the other platforms the audiences on the other platforms seek more of uh distraction and and you know things to pass their time um youtube podcasting uh i think audiences seek to to listen and and to be engaged in the information that you're sharing so that's that's a, a big big reason why and because of that why i i like podcasting and and because of that i i also believe that inherently with with a much more targeted audience the podcasting platform gives you more influence 
it gives you more uh, credibility. It gives you more credibility, I think, automatically. Um, again, because people are, have subscribed, listen, and then go on to follow you based on the things that, that you're bringing to the table, right? Based on the story that you're sharing, based on, um, based on all of that, right? And, and so you have, and, and you're spending much more intimate time with them because it is longer form. They're, they're, they have your attention. They, they can't just swipe through to the next thing right? No, you have their attention, sorry. You have their attention uh, with your episodes and they can't, they're not just swiping and scrolling uh, through the social feed, right? All right. So, so they're, they're much more dialed in. Um, they're much more attuned and, and therefore, yeah, I think, I think just n it naturally creates more, more influence and credibility um, with that audience. So I really like it. I really like it. And, and having, having launched and I'm um, coming up on one year with Path of the Jedi, uh, you know, initially and, and see, here's the thing about podcasting. I've been thinking about doing it for a long time, a long time, um, you know, way before last year. Uh, you know, I had already kind of toyed around with the idea for doing a podcast for network marketing, but I just never thought that it was something that I could do um, from a content standpoint, for sure. Like that was that was always I mean, I think with anything. Um, if you're if you're if you're a content creator before getting into that, you know, starting starting your life and your adventure as a content creator, it's always like, what the, the, what do I create? Right. Like, what am I going to how am I going to like publish on the regular um, so that like how am I going to not run out of things to do? And and it's really, yeah, having done it again for for almost a year now, it's um, it's not a thing like it, like I know I can do it. I mean, especially that I'm doing a video a day on YouTube. I, I know I can do a, a podcast a day. Um, so, you know, that held me up initially, right? Like for years, actually, until I just finally, yeah. And, and to avoid doing network marketing, because I didn't want to, like, I, I didn't know that I could fill a year's worth of podcasts um, with a new network marketing lesson, right? Like, like I, I so instead of network marketing, I, I, I chose Star Wars and personal development, right? I, I was able to kind of draw from source material and and you know creatively do do things and and have and well, I mean, thankfully for Disney Plus and 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 all the new Star Wars stuff coming out, especially, I have almost an endless stream of 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 material to draw from. Um, that said, having read Russell Brunson and and you know been teaching myself. Um, online marketing and stuff like that the the whole philosophy and and principle of of document don't create has really helped has really helped me tackle that and so i i have much less uh he hesitation than i did before you know that i had for years uh, <laughs> before i started podcasting even 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 when i had um, when I started the the path of the Jedi, I was still very I was still in the back of my mind really worried about oh well, man how am I I'm gonna how am I gonna keep this content going right right um, but now that's not really much of an issue anymore it's not it's not a, it's not a speed bump it's not a limitation in my head right again especially given that I'm 60 plus videos in um, on, on this, uh, YouTube channel, which is not going to be the same as, as the podcast guys. So if you want to go find the podcast, it'll be a little different. I, I'm not sure yet exactly, but it's not going to necessarily be just audio versions of this pod, uh, this videos. I, we'll see. I mean, I'm so far ahead, um, in, uh, in, on this YouTube, uh, that, it, I, yeah, yeah, I don't know. I actually haven't, haven't, haven't decided yet. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see what happens. But it, my point is, I'm I'm not worried about. It. I'm not worried about n running out of content. Right. Uh, I think there's plenty of things to talk about, especially from, well, as as things change and grow. Right. As things change and grow and 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 accelerate and evolve, um, there's going to be plenty of plenty of uh, plenty of things to. Uh, to yeah well to talk about on the on the podcast anyways that's it uh, like if 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 you're interested at all in, in podcasting yeah reach out I'm, I'm happy to help you get you know answer any of your questions uh, if, if what number one and and happy to you know give you show you wh how I got started and and the different tools that 
that I use to to uh, to record my podcast. I mean, guys, it's really not as complicated as you might think. I uh, I may have talked about this before, but all I do is use my my iPhone here, which is an iPhone X, and I use these these head earbuds, which is an old pair of ear earbuds. Like they're not even like the Bluetooth fancy schmancy. Um, and I just sit out here on my porch or in the, in the grass, anywhere on the property and I hit record and, and I'll record for, uh, and you know, there's recording apps on pretty much, I'm pretty sure all phones, but I use a garage band and then, um, and then that's it. That's it. It's as simple as that. It's as simple as that guys. So, you know, don't overcomplicate it again. You know, like the human mind naturally when it's, when you're trying to do something new, it's going to think of every reason for you to not do it, right? It's going to think of every limitation because it doesn't like change, right? It doesn't like change. So understand that every limitation isn't actually a limitation. It's just something for you to figure out and solve, right? It's just a speed bump, a hurdle for you to get over. It's not an actual limitation, but your brain tells you that it is, right? Like my brain was telling me that, that, that I, I'm not going to be able to think of content every day. Right. Like that's just that's just my brain was telling me or, or was trying to fool me into think into not doing the thing that that that's new and that's strange and that's scary. Right. Um, um, uh, yeah. Just understand that limitations aren't really limitations. They're just your brain trying to trying to get you to stop doing what what uh, stop doing something new. Um, they're just things for you to solve. They're just things for you to solve. That's it. So, so if there's anything about podcasting that you want to know about, reach out to me. I love podcasting. Again, um, I think it's a great, great way to build a really, really targeted audience that you have a lot of influence and credibility with. All right. So that's it for this episode. We'll catch you tomorrow. Until then, be well, be safe, and may the force be with you. That's not the, that's not the sign off. Be well, be safe, and I'll see you in the next episode. Peace.